to Arc Tutorials and in today's episode we are going to learn about the top 10 popular NoSQL databases for developers. Ask any developer their favorite databases, most likely 90% of the developers in today's world will call out some sort of NoSQL database. So as a developer it's important that we learn about the NoSQL databases available in the market. Let's get started. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to our friends at Frovola, which is a next generation powerful WYSIWYG HTML editor. The editor itself is developer friendly. It's easy to integrate in our existing applications and comes with a beautiful elegant design. You can learn more about Frovola at frovola.com. Please do check them out. They are sponsoring this particular video. Thank you in advance. All right, so before we get started about learning the top 10 NoSQL databases, I'll take a moment to brief you about what exactly is a NoSQL database. NoSQL databases are non-tabular databases and store data differently than relational tables. In most common databases, we would have a table structure, which is more of a ER kind of a relation, which is entity relationship kind of design and tables. NoSQL databases comes in a variety of types based on their data model. The main types for these documents are key value, white column and graph. They provide flexible schema and allows us to easily scale large amount of data and high user loads. All right, so that being said, let's start with the top 10 popular NoSQL databases. The first one on our list is something which 80% of the developers have already heard and may have given it a try, which is MongoDB. MongoDB is one of the most powerful NoSQL databases. It's an open source document oriented database. The term NoSQL, like I mentioned, it's a non-relational. It means that MongoDB isn't based on table like relational databases, but provides a different mechanism in terms of storing it as a JSON format. More specifically, in MongoDB terms, it's called BSON. MongoDB supports natively a lot of languages so that any developer from any programming background can easily get started. MongoDB also offers cloud-based instance called MongoDB Atlas. You can learn more about them at mongodb.com. That's the website. You should go ahead and give them a try. The next one on our list is Amazon DynamoDB. Amazon DynamoDB is an AWS offering, which is fast, flexible NoSQL database service. And this is extremely high performance at any scale. It is fully managed, serverless, key value NoSQL database designed to run high performance applications at any scale. Amazon DynamoDB offers built-in security, continuous backups, automated multi-region replications, and much, much more. The best part is that if you're already working with AWS services, chances are that you can easily integrate AWS DynamoDB into your existing applications. The next on our list is Google Cloud Firestore. It used to be called Firebase earlier, but now it's called Firestore, which allows us to develop rich applications which are fully managed, scalable and serverless document database. Since it's from Google offering, it integrates very well with Google Cloud services like Cloud Functions, BigQuery, and much more. Since it's a serverless document database, that means it can scale any demand with at high user loads as well. Do check them out at cloud.google.com slash firestore. The next on our list is Microsoft Azure. So the database name is Cosmos DB, which Azure provides. Again, this is a fully managed NoSQL database. Now, this is again a very, very high performance and can already integrate with applications which are already hosted on Microsoft Azure. You don't need a specific dedicated Azure application, but you can integrate any applications with Cosmos DB. Check them out at azure.microsoft.com. The next is a open source distributed version non-relational database, which is Apache HBase. Now this was designed after Google's big table and it has high capability of scaling, high performance. Check them out at hbase.apache.org. 
The next is again a pretty famous among developers, which is Redis. It's a NoSQL database, provides real time performance for high data processing, supports JSON, graphs, indexing, and much, much more. You can integrate this right into your DevOps as well, which has intelligent caching mechanism and much more. Check them out at redis.com. The next is an again an open source NoSQL database, which is Cassandra. Now this a particular database I have seen being implemented in large enterprises, which have a massive, massive amounts of data. So if you're working on an enterprise application, which requires extremely high amounts of loads, consider using Cassandra. Check them out at cassandra.apache.org. The next on our list is Neo4j, which is again with stores, manages data in its more natural connected state, maintaining data relationships that deliver lightning fast queries, deeper context, and much, much more. You can define your own data models using Neo4j, and that's what makes it more scalable and easily integratable into our applications. Check them out at Neo4j. The next on our list is CouchDB. It's again an offering from Apache, open source, which is again a document-oriented NoSQL database. The difference is it's implemented in Erlang and it supports multiple formats for us. So if you have a certain format that you want to extend, you can do that in CouchDB. Now there are protocols to store, transfer and process its data. All the things are natively supported by JavaScript, which is its primarily um, query language. So basically it supports MapReduce and HTTP and much more. So even if you are using with a basic application, which just does HTTP request and response, you can still use CouchDB. Check them out at couchdb.apache.org. The next on our list is RevenDB. Now this is an extremely easy, fast and reliable multi-document asset tra transactions. It comes with an excellent GUI, MapReduce and much more. You should give it a try at ravendb.net. All right, so that's our top 10 list of NoSQL databases. I would love to know which is your favorite among this list or if I have missed any, please let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining in today's episode. I hope you learned some new database to tools and functionalities about it. To get featured on our tutorials, please write to me at surya.aradhi at gmail.com. Please do subscribe, like, share and drop your comments. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.